She wanted to come to Jaffa because in Jaffa she had a lot of things that she was interested to paint. It was her own world and I'm still studying her as a person through her pictures. She was 14, she immigrated to Palestine. In 38, she was studying already in Bezalel in Yerushalayim. This letter she got from her teacher. Today I would not have dared to tell your father not to leave. Tell him that. Why was it possible that blood and race did not count in Waldorf Schule? I will reveal you a secret. When your classmate refused to go to the hostel where Jews were not allowed in, without any fuss, I had experienced the happiest moment as a teacher. This was for me the real spirit of Waldorf Schule. My mom was born in Nuremberg and grew up there. They moved to Stuttgart because the Nazi party was already there very strong. Her father was in the SPD, a very important uh, person, so he was in the target of this party quite early. He thought that somehow it will pass and then he would be able to return to home. And then he saw that um, the dark uh, ages are not passing and he decided to come to Palestine at that time. The question of nationality is less relevant for my mom than the question of being human. For her, this was the issue. She never hesitated to say as an artist that she has a political view in her art. Her focus was for the unprivileged. She always looked to those who are in the lowest, the weakest side. Passion to those who are weak, whoever they are. It could be women, it could be immigrants, it could be refugees, it could be poor people, it could be children. So they are not the one who have the power. The Jews who came here in the 50s and were put in uh, camps that were called Ma'abarot, and they were very poor. And she went there and drove them, as well as Palestinians who were refugees. Very few artists in Israel took this point of view. It is not about nationality, but about humanism. But, on the other hand, she studied in Bezalel, and Bezalel, the main uh, teachers who came from the Bauhaus, it was uh, Ardon and others. In one aspect, there was a continuation. From the other side, in Bezalel at those times, policy was influenced very much by the Israeli nationality, and they taught people to become very practical. She was influenced uh, not specifically by the German, but the European culture, of course. You can find footprints of her social ideas also in her own home. Her father was an important uh, figure in the SPD party in Germany. He had a factory, but his political views and social views were clearly very leftist. Then, when she was assimilated into the Israeli society, it was through Shomer Atzair, which is also a socialist youth movement, also talking about social issues. For her, drawing a nice flower, 
she's completely uninterested in. It was very clear, the, the humanistic issues. It is much more than uh, what here in Israel is right and left. The sensibility to any living person, no matter who he is. Her own experience of being forced to immigrate. She couldn't bear that we are doing the same to other people, to the Palestinians. Mom, I will say, is not a very verbal person. Malen, my zweite Muttersprache. Painting my second mother tongue. So the first one is German, and the second one is painting, and Hebrew is maybe the third one. She spoke, but, you know, as, as an immigrant. For her, drawing, painting, the arts is not up there and we down there. She worked very hard from the moment she opened her eye till she went to sleep very late at night. She was like a blue worker that had to work. You can't waste time, you have to be always exact in time, hard worker, time, time, time. In this aspect, she was very German. She never sat still. It was always with a sketchbook. If she went with me to the doctor, it was always, you know, and we were waiting for the bus to come. She was drawing. You know, it was always. She drew all the time. 